What's going on ladies and gentlemen? You know who I am, you know what I do, and you know who I do it for, and it's most certainly for you. Welcome to The Incision, where I, your host, Dr. Rectango, will peel back the layers of truth of the video game industry, exposing it one video game at a time. And where else would we start but with Capcom's recent release of Super Street Fighter, oh my god, I can't believe we can finally count to five edition, also known as... Street Fighter V, I'll tell you all about it by March 1st when the game is actually released, because it's not released right now. We're still playing Super Street Fighter IV, I cannot believe that this game isn't finished 5. Or something like that, and let me explain what I mean. Let's give you a little history lesson. Street Fighter IV was a dumpster fire. I think we can all admit that when it was Super Sagat Fighter 4 and there was millions upon millions of players out there complaining, Oh my god, Sagat's just tiger kneeing all over the place. Oh my god, oh my god, I just can't avoid him. Oh my god, these projectiles, he dominates the game. Super Sagat Fighter 4. Then once that game was abolished because Super Street Fighter 4 was announced, let's be honest, people weren't very happy that they had to go out and say, okay, I gotta buy another game to replace the game that I already have. That sucks, but whatever. We're over $100 invested into this game now. We might as well see how this thing pans out. Then they decide, well, Super Street Fighter 4 was not good enough, and Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition was born. And in a lot of cases, if you didn't have Super Street Fighter, guess what you had to do? You had to go out and spend more money to now play with the other people who are playing online because the other two games, their online is now out of date. So now you have Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. Now, Arcade Edition 2012 was a free update to Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. Thank God, because people were really sick of being over $100 in the hole for a game that might not be able to actually, oh, I don't know, sustain itself for a good long tenure or a good lifespan. But that'll come down the road. Because you see, right when you think Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition 2012 was going to be the final installment, they hit you with the uppercut of all uppercuts. Shorty Ultra Street Fighter 4! And ladies and gentlemen, people were... Mild. The crowd goes mild. There's no other way to really explain that. Because when Ultra Street Fighter 4 came out, let's be honest, tournament players loved it, obviously. But the casual, like at this point, they're not really feeling it. They're not going to go out and spend another lump sum of $40 or however much Ultra Street Fighter 4 was at release. And then go out and buy another game that probably won't even last that long. At this point, we thought, well... Half-Life 3 come out before Street Fighter 5? These were complexing and convexing questions that many people didn't think that we would ever get the answer to. But Capcom began to try to rise out of the ashes like the Phoenix many Capcom fanboys alike knew that they would. Street Fighter 5 was announced. And then they got hit with the devastating news that the game would be released with a relatively small roster. Guile, Jury people who were in the last game, in every version of the last game, and are very popular fan favorite characters, have been relegated to DLC. Alex will be making his turn, so everyone was giving up a thumbs up and forgiving them for that. And Urien would also be making a return amongst other characters that we all know. But that's neither here nor there. Street Fighter V, mechanically, is probably the best Street Fighter game that we've had since Street Fighter III. Let me give you an example. If this right here, this water bottle, represents Street Fighter 4, and my right hand represents Street Fighter 5, if you were to compare the two, this is what I would tell you to do. Hi, I'm Street Fighter 5. Hi, I'm Street Fighter 4. And that's about how they compare. Street Fighter 5 destroys Street Fighter 4, hands down. Street Fighter 4 was a game that just relegated and pretty much resonated around one simple concept. Getting the knockdown, keeping the momentum, and then if you lose the momentum, now it's the other person's turn. But this game seems like it has more strong fundamental-based gameplay, where if you have better fundamentals, you're going to win. If you know your spacing of your moves, you know what type, of, if your moves are plus or negative on block or hit, you're going to have a very good time understanding the game. The problem with this is there's not much of a game to talk about. For you see, as I said earlier, Street Fighter V's not out yet. It doesn't come out till March 1st. Yes, I may have had my hands on Street Fighter V already, but it, I assure you, it's nothing but an early access build. And the reason why I say that is, there's no arcade mode, there's no actual story mode, there's no challenge mode. The only two things that you can really do here are go into the lab and play, let's be honest, online ranked or casual matches. For the lobby system, <laughs> it's a joke. 
You can only have one other player in your lobby. That's not a lobby. That, 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 that's not a lobby. A lobby inquire, requires multiple people to have a lobby. That, that's not a lobby. Your lobby menu shows four characters on the screen. That's a lie. There's only two. You and the one person you picked to be in your lobby or the one person who joined your lobby. Two player lobbies. Are we for real? Two player lobbies. So no spectator mode. No king of the hill. None of that. None of those things. No tournament mode. None of that. No, okay, none of that is there. And if you're wondering what the hell's going on at the top right-hand corner of your screen, well, that's how long it takes to find matches on the first two and a half days. After that, matches take about 15 to 20 to 30 seconds to queue up, and it's much more manageable. But when I paid $60 and I had to deal with this, this is a load of dick. This is someone trying to put their penis inside of my ear and say, you like that? You paid $60 for it. Get fucked. That's not okay. That's not okay. $60 gets me waiting time? Super Weight Fighter 4? Super Loading Screen 5? That's what I got? That, that's what we're getting. That's what you're giving me. Capcom, you literally extended your middle finger and you gave consumers the business. You did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. And the reason why this was done, the reason why Capcom feels as though they are justified is because they were catering to the professional fighting game players of the fighting game community because there was two important dates that this game had to meet. The Capcom Pro Tour and EVO. Games that will be, or excuse me, events that will be happening in the next two or three months in which all the players from around the world needed time to get acclimated and accustomed to matchup knowledge, frame data, combos, and actually analyzing breaking the game down and breaking its mechanics down and they needed time to do that before these events. Otherwise, it wouldn't really be a really fair tournament if only the people who played the beta would even be able to enter the tournament and even know what the hell's going on. So that is why the game has been released a little bit earlier than expected and things are not going to be as polished as they could be or should be for a $60 triple A investment that you want your customers to back you on. So with that said, there's a lot of controversy swelling around this. You see, a lot of news media outlets have actually blasted gamers for blasting Capcom for their lack of features within Street Fighter V. And the reason why I'm asking this question that I'm about to ask is not because I disrespect your opinion, video game journalists, but your audience, right, that you uh, talk to, that you preach to, and you're going to tell them that, you know, they're wrong. Okay, that's fine. But how the hell are you going to tell them that they're wrong when the complaint isn't that the game is bad, the complaint is, guys, where are the features? We paid $60 for this. Where's the rest of the content? Where's the meat? Where's the substance? Where's the single player part of this experience? Where are at, mate? Because everybody's not trying to be the next Daigo or the next Justin Wong or the next Chris G or the next PR Balrog, the next Taquito. That's not what everybody's trying to be. Some people just want to sit down and relax, blow off a little steam, kill a little time by playing their favorite fighting game series of all time, Street Fighter. And survival mode's all they got? Good job. Survival mode. Good good on you, mate. Good good on you. Good good job, Capcom. Good job, journalist. This is what you want to defend? And the defense that you have for Capcom on this release is, well, a lot of games are rushed these days. This might be the record for how many times I have to take my classes off for real talk in, in a video. So you're going to tell me that a lot of games are rushed, and that's your excuse. Okay, so if I work at a restaurant, right, and I serve somebody who ordered a well-done steak, and I give it to them rare as fuck. I'm talking about, I might as well have just cut off the ass of a cow. Didn't even cook it. It still got the tail and the skin on there. And just tossed it on somebody's plate and said, there you go. And then they look at me like, ah, uh, that's not cooked. And I said, you're right, you're right. And I just throw it in the oven. Don't even try to peel off the skin. Don't even try to get off the hair follicles. Don't even remove the tail. I just cook it until it's black. Throw it on there and throw it back to them and say, but this isn't even prepared properly. I mean, you're right. I could have done the effort and I could have went the extra mile to actually make it, you know, finished, but that, that's good enough, right? And then I start a trend where a whole bunch of restaurants are now doing this and we're still charging you full price for a steak. And then my excuse as a restaurant connoisseur would be, a lot of restaurants are doing it these days. 
Guess what? Nobody's going to restaurants anymore because they're sick of this shit. They're not going to have this shit. They're not going to tolerate this shit in any capacity, way, shape, form, or format. And you know it. However, I shouldn't have to be the one telling you this, game industry. You should know this. You guys should beat me to the punch. I waited about, what, five days after this game has come out? And let's be honest here, ladies and gentlemen. I feel no different than when the beta <laughs> was out. It's the same game. Just I can choose when I want to search and queue up for online matches when I'm doing other modes. That's the only real feature that they added. Outside of, you know, the lobby system, which is two people, which isn't a lobby. That's just you matchmaking with your friend. That's not a lobby. Because there's only two people in there. When your actual lobby icon shows four fighters, that's a lie. Now that may come in March 1st or later down the road, but that's not what's there now. It's a two-player lobby. That's your maximum. Good job, man. That's what I'm looking for. It's good shit. No, it's not. It's a load of shit. That's what it is. That is exactly what it is. But as I said, game industry, I waited four days after this game's release, and somehow I'm still beating you to the punch on this information. You guys really need to uh, fix some stuff out out there. You guys are looking kind of shabby out there. You guys are looking like you're not up to snuff. Like you ain't getting your facts right like Mundane Matt. You guys know what I'm talking about. You know. Shoutouts. But regardless. Street Fighter V mechanically. It's a mechanically sound game. It feels as though the better player with the better fundamentals and the better matchup knowledge is the player that actually is going to win and you're not going to get cheesed or scrubbed out. And the net code, for the most part, is holding up pretty fine. I know it's a little early and i know things can be a little dicey with net code upon release as we've seen with mortal Kombat, they have to reinvent their whole net code but as we've seen mechanically i think it's a phenomenal game but what we got for 60 dollars at release was a continuation of the beta because the servers go down just as often as the beta it takes this long to get matches if you're wondering what's going on there that's how long it takes to get matches i'm pointing this out again because it's a problem. <laughs> this is a real problem. It's disgusting, Capcom. But, you know, I'm sure the Capcom Defense Force will be coming out in droves to defend the game. And like I said, the game mechanically, good. Wait till March 1st. Wait until everything comes out. All the DLC can be bought with in-game currency, so you don't have to go out and shill out money like you did with the Street Fighter 4 franchise. You didn't have to keep spending money. You don't have to keep buying different versions of the game. So all of those are positives, and I can give Capcom credit for coming to the table as an adult and being pro-consumer in these regards. But other than that, that's about all I really have to say about the game. Wait till March 1st. If things get a little dicey, you definitely will be updated by yours truly. So, let's uh, do other things. Like go to sleep and go to Biloxi. I got things to do. Y'all take care now. I'm out.